This computer contains top secret information, hidden behind ciphers and puzzles. And today, I'm going to attempt to uncover as many of the secrets as I can. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Yeaster, your tech tinkerer, and the best part about this video is that you can actually solve these puzzles right alongside me from your own PC, due to the fact that the secrets are not housed within a physical computer, but in a free-to-play, interactive, web-based game called Break the Code, who are sponsoring today's video. The game takes place within a Windows 98 environment, very retro, and you play the role of a codebreaker trying to decipher the puzzles and challenges left behind by an anarchist organization called Dot Gang. The game is split up into four encrypted hard drives, progressively getting more and more difficult. Today I'll be playing through the first half of hard drive number one, in order to give you a taste of what kind of challenges this game has in store. Plus, as you solve the problems with any hard drive, you'll also have a chance to win some ridiculous real-life prizes, such as this insane $12,000 gaming setup, as well as a signed copy of the Matrix script by Keanu Reeves himself. So, if those prizes sound cool, or you just have an itch for puzzle solving, I encourage you to click the top link in the description below to play along with me throughout this video. So, without any further ado, grab your PC Detective magnifying glasses, and let's jump into it. Just like that, we are loaded into the game, which again is developed by Dot Tech Domains, where we're tasked with solving some mind-bending puzzles and have the chance to win some prizes. So, let's see what we're supposed to do. To begin, please close this email and make your way to the desktop. Wow, this is so cool. I love that you can actually move these windows around like you're actually using Windows 98. Close this, then get to the desktop, which we are at. I love how Clippy's here too. What up, Clippy? Haven't seen you in a minute. All right, it's said to start with the drives, which I see a G1 drive and a G2 drive here, but I'm also curious about this Minesweeper. Oh, you can actually play Minesweeper. Okay, this actually might distract me way too much. Wait, that's all the mines. Does the game not end? There we go. See, in normal Minesweeper, the goal of the game is to actually just to uncover all the squares that aren't mines, as opposed to flagging all the squares that are mines. It's a little different here, but I'll accept it. And let's just jump into Drive 1. Ooh. Drive 1, box of chocolates. There's Nada, <laughs> like NASA, Napster, like Napster, Mall Street Journal, and Revamp. Let's see what happens there. All right, new instructions. Even though you're still considered a recent recruited codebreaker, CARE will be assigning you a mission of top level importance. They have uncovered traces of a virus linked to an anarchist organization that calls themselves Doc Gang. Ah, I hate those guys. In Drive 1, you will find all the leads we have collected in our investigations, analyze each one, and try to find the relevant connections. Let's jump into NADA. This mission is accessible only via Web Explorer. All right, so Web Explorer, you know, the uh, infamous internet explorer with a little hat. And we can just type in a URL. How cool is that? And if you guys are playing along at home, if you can beat me to the end of drive one, let me know in the comments and I'll give you a nice little kudos. All right, so let's go to www.nada.tech. The answers can be found within clues hidden in plain sight on the website or application in question. Deciphering these clues is what you, the code breaker, need to pull off. You guys know how much I love geocaches in real life and hiding random tech items like CPUs or thermal paste. And this feels like geocaching, but just in a digital form, which is honestly so fun. So it looks like we can click on the brief button to learn how to play, press the resolve button in order to solve the mission and then help for some assistance. Mission brief for the first mission. All right, we don't know how, but Doc Gang has used an astronaut's old account to infiltrate our system and erase all the logs. Darn astronauts. We recovered the first part of their new password, CPC. Use this to your advantage. We've also extracted a part of the content they modified. The clock is ticking. Find the full password and help us dig deeper. So we know that, what was it? CDC, I already forgot. <laughs> what was the beginning of the password? All right, CPC is the beginning of the password. We need to find the rest of it. All right, so I guess all the clues will be on this page. Oh, this guy's name is Charles Pete Conrad, CPC. CPC clearly did not have very good password protection. You'd think NASA would have some pretty good like two-factor authentication, especially for astronauts. Let's see over here, security update. All employees are instructed to switch the new NADA password format, XXX-XXX-XXX. All right, so we have another hint. Please do not use the same three letters three times. So with that, we probably know that the password isn't CPC, CPC, CPC. Okay, all right, what else do we know? I'm gonna check out the site map. Just, oh, can't click that, Never mind. I was gonna say, if, if all these links were clickable, there'd be so much to explore on this. But it looks like not everything, oh, I accidentally downloaded an image. There's no way there's a secret on this moon, right? Okay, there's totally a secret on this moon. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but you can see that there's footprints on the moon. So maybe the directions of them indicate something. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But the password format we know only has nine spaces. So maybe this doesn't give us the clue that I thought it was going to. But 
let's keep that in mind as we try to figure out what else we need for the password. Can't click any of these links, doesn't look like. All right, so let's just read this, I guess. Moonwalking or moon driving. 28 years old, astronaut James Benson Irwin conducted the first ever drive on the surface of the moon using the lunar rover vehicle or moon buggy. JBI discovered a four billion year old rock. Like many lunar samples returned to Earth by the final Apollo missions, seatbelt rock never would have been collected if astronaut JBI had not brought a car with him. This other person is also referenced by their initials, JBI, James Benson Irwin. So I wonder if the password is just a combination of those types of names, CBC, JBI. Have you guys found another name? Let's uh, let's reread the brief again to see if there's anything we missed. Attend and modified the clock. Oh, the clock is ticking. There is a clock right here. I, I was wondering why this thing kept flashing. The death clock, the internet's friendly reminder that life is slipping away. Oh. That's sad. All right, so this is a still of that picture. And yeah, so it looks like it's 806. Is there any way that 806 is the final phrase right here? Let's try it, right? So we have CPC, JBI is the only other astronaut three-letter acronym that we have. And maybe 806 is the final, since that's what's on the clock. Wrong answer, try again. I'm actually really curious if these are real people or not. I don't know much about astronauts, I guess. Get astronaut like abs. Nice. Do astronauts have abs? <laughs> For those of you playing along at home, have you guys already found the answer to this? I'm sure some of you out there already have. Did we miss any type of three letter combination? CPC, JBI, D DEV is another three letter one that isn't just a common word. So we could try that DEV, DEC, technically December. That's kind of normal. Get astronaut like abs, ABS, it's all caps. So is GET, like get. All right, let's see. Can we do CPC? I still feel like CPC is first because in the brief they said it's the first thing that they found. And I feel like JBI is last maybe. So let's try ABS, JBI. <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> All right, we did it. Did you guys beat my time? That was wild. That was, that felt a bit like a lucky guess. And I feel like I didn't actually get it the way that you were supposed to. Anyway, good job, it says. Excellent extraction code breaker. Now that we have the full password, we can take back control of the hacked astronauts account. Okay, we did it. Look at that, successfully completed the first mission. I feel like that was probably the easiest one and still I found like kind of hard. So if you guys are doing better than me at home, kudos to you. All right, shall we continue on to Nabster? Mission brief. We've intercepted communication that revealed Dot Gang's plan to inject a virus into Napster's downloads. So begin your mission and do whatever you can to identify the virus. What are we even doing here? <laughs> There's so much random stuff. All right, so we have a list of songs, no file sizes, but we have the bit rate, they all look the same, the frequency all look the same, as well as the length of the song. Uh, different playlists, it looks like. All have very similar information, although this one has length of all zero. None of these buttons seem to be, oh, that definitely did something. All right, so it looks like we can download the list into a CSV that might come in handy later. These are some modern songs for being, what, 1999? All right, my, my gut is pulling me into the like first letter of either the, the artist name or the song name. So we have S, N, H, H, that's a lot of letters. S N H H L J F T N I G H R D C I Y. Does that help us at all? <laughs> all right, I think that's kind of a rabbit hole, but actually, now that I'm looking at it, look at the second song name. Nobody is supposed to be here. Is that supposed to be here? This is definitely supposed to be give it to you. All right, so let's strike down all the letters that are missing as opposed to just all of the letters from the start. H from here, have you ever, oh, I didn't miss that one, H A. I like the vowels. It doesn't look like every single song is missing a letter though, so it's just kind of jumping around. P from Jumper. Tripping has two P's in it, I believe. Give it to you. I think this is what I got. I don't know if this is what you guys have, but the first phrase maybe of this password is happy. Onto the second playlist. What's missing from this one? Is it is it the same pattern? I feel like it's not going to be. So what is unique about these guys? <laughs> Clippy says, looks like you're stuck. Would you like some help? Yes, I would love some help. Check the first letter of each song in oldies but goodies. What do they spell? Ah, okay, so this is actually what we were doing for the first playlist. So now in the second playlist, if we take the first letter of each song, we have U, P, G, R, A, D, E, upgrade. That's a word. Upgrade, 
version. Ooh, happy upgrade version. All right, so we move on to the third playlist. All right, this one's much smaller. Again, none of the lengths are anything. I think this is something about the length of songs. They're supposed to look up the length of these songs. So together is clearly an important phrase here. We do have happy on our page from the Music Kid playlist. So happy together, maybe that's of more relevance than not. Upgrade version. I feel like we need a number. So maybe we need to look up the length of the song Happy Together by the Turtles. This game's so wild, but I love it. Do we trust YouTube as like the tell all of how long the song is? Okay, so the length of the song is 257, but we also know that it was released in 1967. So those are both numbers that we could potentially use for our password. Upgrade version 257. Nope, wrong answer. Let's try 1967. Nope. All right, that didn't work. So back to the drawing board. For the first playlist, we have happy. For the second playlist, we have upgrade version. That feels like a weird thing to type for a password or for a virus name. It almost feels like it's like a command, not, not, a, not a piece of text to use for something. Current version. 1999. Do you think we're supposed to upgrade from this version to 2000? It is December 31st, 1999. Maybe, you know, turning point of the century to year 2000. But then what does the together mean? Happy together. Did you guys figure this one out yet? Hypothetically, what happens if we use the word happy? Happy New Year? Because it's saying happy 2000s, happy upgrade, happy New Year. No, it's turning to the year 2000. Happy 2000. Oh, let's go. Happy 2000. What? Wow. Did you guys figure that one out? That's nuts. Oh, that feeling of solving a puzzle is so much fun. Now that we know what it's called, we can stop it from spreading. Nice, let's go. And with that, we have successfully made it halfway through the first of the four drives. So if you enjoyed these kind of puzzles, there are plenty more for you to continue to explore. And just as a reminder, if you want to be eligible for all of those really cool prizes, be sure to solve as many of the drives as you can. Again, thank you to Break the Code and Dot Tech Domains for sponsoring today's video. And the last thing I want to do is press this very enticing button that says, don't click me. What do you guys think happens? Well, one way to find out.